Barbershop Conversation, guys, feel free to subscribe button. So we get examples every day of sometimes where truth is stranger than fiction. The Syrian family, the Sali family, they voted for Donald Trump out of Philadelphia and they get deported. <laughs> I can't believe this shit, man. You know, there's a part of me that says, um, man, what is Donald Trump doing to his family? You have some uh, a smidget of empathy. No empathy, but sympathy. But they voted for the for the very man that said, if you are not a citizen of America, basically, you are not welcome. And more importantly, if you're a Muslim and not a uh, citizen of America, we're going to make sure that you don't get in. So even if they were citizens, which they had green cards, their family wouldn't be allowed in, not unless they became citizens. I, I mean... I can't, I can't make this shit up, man. Charlemagne gave them the donkey of the day, and this is just, I, I, I'm perplexed. Why would you vote for a man? It's like, um, let's see, George Bush. George Bush very seldom mentioned the the son, very seldom mentioned black people. Why would I vote for him? And even if I'm doing okay, and, and and I wasn't doing okay in 2000, I had just graduated from college. I had more debt and rent and car payments up to my neck. I was living barely paycheck to paycheck. You know, uh, I, how bad I was doing, I'll tell you a funny story. I would go on dates, and I would lie and tell them to take the food back. I would order and then have them scratch it off my menu. I mean, have it scratch it off my tab. I would take like two or three bites and be like, oh, it's not done or something's wrong with it just so I wouldn't look like I couldn't afford the meal. True story. I've done that too many times to count. But um, I wouldn't vote for Donald Trump in 2000. I mean, George Bush in 2000 and 2004. No way, no how. He's never mentioned, consistently never mentioned uh, the plight of the black, of the, of the black uh, man or woman in America. So... Why would you, as a Syrian, I don't know if you're a refugee to a green card American, or I have, or an, you're basically an immigrant. Not basically, you are an immigrant. And you would vote for the very man that will not allow your cousins that live in Syria to board a plane and come to America. So anyways, barbershop conversation. Feel free to subscribe, but I'm just perplexed. So <laughs> I may do another video on this a little bit later. Uh, depending on how I feel, but I, I, I just think this is too funny. So barbershop conversations, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.